Uh, it was probably the most frustrating thing, but also the thing that I liked the most, just like that uh, high school or college professor that you look back on that was the biggest challenge at the time, and you look back and you go, oh, that's the one I learned the most from. Uh, she didn't come in with a template of you do these things, you will be successful with Lean, you will turn your company around, all of these things. And she really left that hard work up to us to figure out what, was, what were the tools that were going to work for us. What did Lean look like for us? It wasn't, um, I guess that was a, posi it was a frustrating thing, but as anything in life, you work through that challenge and you really own it then was in many ways because she didn't do that, because she didn't come to our small medical device company and say, here, be Toyota. Um, I think it meant that a lot of other people in the group that certainly had some walls and barriers up about, oh, who's this consultant that's going to come in and tell us how to do our jobs? I think those were down because of that. Her approach to the work uh, gave her the opening to tell us more. And uh, as I said, Catherine's not going to give you a template and say, do this, and suddenly your product development will uh, be 25% more efficient and all of these things. What she's going to do is coach you and help you find your way. And uh, it's nice to have someone there prodding you in the right direction when you color out of the lines sometimes. Unless out of the lines is where is, is the right place to go. <laughs>